For more than 70 years, the Korean Peninsula has been locked in a state of war. U.S. tactics of maximum pressure, sanctions, and isolation have failed to resolve the crisis. In fact, North Korea has only amassed more nuclear weapons. But it doesn't have to be this way. When there's been engagement, diplomacy, and acknowledgement of the root cause of the conflict, the unresolved status of the Korean War, there have been steps toward peace. According to President Jimmy Carter, ending the Korean War is the only way to ensure true human security for both Korean and American people. To understand why a peace-first approach is the most effective strategy for resolving the security crisis on the Korean Peninsula, the global campaign Korea Peace Now released the Path to Peace report in February. The report also calls for the inclusion of women's groups and civil society in the peace process. That's because research shows that when women are involved in peace processes, an agreement is more likely to be reached and to last. Between 1991 and 2017, women's groups were involved in 71% of informal peace processes. Women's participation helps to legitimize the formal peace process among the public, and that's exactly what we're doing. Through the dedicated, effective work of Women Cross DMZ, the issue of a peace agreement between North Korea and the United States has moved from the back burner of policy debate to the front of mind. They have convincingly demonstrated that we cannot end North Korea's nuclear program without a comprehensive peace. We engage senior officials. We work with members of Congress on legislation calling for an end to the Korean War. We mobilize grassroots communities to take action. We amplify our message in the media. We raise awareness of the human costs of the unresolved war and center the experiences of women. We bring feminist peace builders together to discuss our vision of the peace process. The more we connect our work, the more we align our work towards a shared vision, and we do that strategically, then I think real impact and change can happen. We're cultivating the next generation of leaders and we're redefining what makes us secure by democratizing U.S. foreign policy. Peace is the only way forward, and with women leading the way, we will end this war.